Morning, Scott here with you live. Welcome to Sunday on BBC One. It's been a big old week in politics. Grab a cuppa and some insight with Laura. Everything's changed. A huge and historic win for Sir Keir Starmer after years of Labour losses. His promise to you, a government that can get things done. We're a changed Labour Party and yesterday we started the work of changing the country. Well, one of his first cabinet ministers who's joining us for the first time on a Sunday is Jonathan Reynolds, who becomes the business secretary. Um, Jonathan, I have to say, when I saw you walking up down Downing Street on Friday, I have never seen a group of people who looked like they were in such a rush. <laughs> what did it feel like? It was a very special moment, really special personally, but special for the group of people that were assembling that cabinet and what it will mean for the future. OK, politics is personal as well as professional, of course it is. Well, Jonathan's boss, Keir Starmer, is on the road meeting first ministers today and mayors soon. One of them, Labour's Andy Burnham, will join us too. To the country, I would like to say first and foremost, I am sorry. Well, he might be sorry, but what and who is next for Rishi Sunak's Conservatives? Here are the likely leadership contenders. Perhaps there could be more. Well, Robert Jenrick and Victoria Atkins, who might both fancy it, are here with us this morning to start the conversation. But more of you voted for the other parties than ever before. One of the victors, Ed Davey, the leader of the Liberal Democrats, will join us this morning too. And at the desk with me today, the Unite the Union leader, Sharon Graham, Historian Simon Sharma, because it is a moment of history, and a man who knows a thing or two about being in opposition, the former Conservative leader, Lord Michael Howard. Morning, morning. Let's start, as we always do, with a look at the news. The Observer has the new Prime Minister on the front page saying it's time to deliver. The Express leads with something that he has already done, burying the Conservatives' Rwanda scheme, saying it's dead and buried. A former Prime Minister told the Sunday Times that Labour needs a plan for immigration. And the former Home Secretary, who knows a thing or two about migration, Suella Braverman, tells The Telegraph that the Tories deserved to lose. And, of course, that other big contest, the football, is a big story for most of the papers as England reached the Euros semis, beating Switzerland last night. Well, let's start, then, our conversation this morning. 